hi everyone welcome back to the react js video tutorial and in this video we will see about the error boundaries so these are points that we are going to cover in this video so first of all we will see some theoretical part about the error boundaries then we will make a component which is uh, can be a user or anything then we will make a custom error on it and after that we will make a error boundaries component and after that we will code it and the test it so first of the question is what are the error boundaries sometimes we have we have an some errors in our application and that time we just want to show some custom message or custom error screen uh, so to handle the errors so that time we have to use the error boundaries they help to make some custom message or custom page to uh, just hide the messages so now let's make a user component and we will uh, go ahead with the other steps also so now first of all just make a component user.js and just uh, make a component with the uh, user class and just write some code like user data and let's uh, import it inside the app.js after that we have to import it so just use import user from my bad we have to like user okay perfect and after that just use this uh, component like this now we can see that we got the data here so let's zoom it out so that you can see it very clearly All right and after that let's make some custom errors here like inside the end render I am just going to write here to and after that you can just simply write here throw new error and inside here you can write here uh, custom custom error and let's uh, try to run it now you can see that we got an error like this so that how we can resolve now just for a moment don't forget this uh, close button when you just click it now you are just seeing a blank screen here but after that uh, I just tell you something later about it so now let's go ahead here and just make a one more component with the name of error boundaries I am just going to make it with the error bound you can put any name that you just like like to put and here first of all I just need a constructor so that I can use some classes uh, I can just use some uh, states here so let's use this dot state and just take a name with uh, the state like error and default value of it is null and after that just take a static lifecycle method which is get drived state from error and now you can just return some error from here so I'm just surprised why this is not looks fine so let me check what's the issue with it yep I think I just missed the spell of static okay so we have to make a return here in the return you can just return a state which is here and it could be true because it will only code when our error is occurred in this component alright so after that you can just simply write here condition with the inside the JSX this dot state dot error if there is some error we can just simply write here h1 tag and in the h1 tag just write something like this hi this is custom error handler else you can just take a colon and just here you can, here you can put this dot props dot children now just import this component inside the app also 
So let's use import something from uh, error bound and you can just this take this error bound from here and make a wrapper around the your uh, around your user component or your all application also so now let's see now whenever you, you just reload uh, first time you will see this error message but after that you are seeing this page the reasoning because this is the production build and in the production uh, because this is a development build and in the development build it will show this message until you just close it in the before it you can see this message also here but by default it will show uh, this error message because they just want that uh, developer should know about this error but if you just make a build of it or you can say that when you just have the production build it will just show this message here so this is all about the error boundaries if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video